Grade 5 Math, number 11.7, find volume with unit cubes. Volume is the measure of the amount of space a solid figure occupies, and it's measured in cubic units. A cubic unit is a one unit cube, like that. One little unit. It's a unit this way, this way, and back. So whether it's centimeters or inches or feet, it's one of them in a cube. If you had eight of them, you'd have eight cubic units. So to measure the space, the volume inside something, we find how many cubes fit in it. And we say that's its volume. It's eight cubic units. It's 24 cubic units, whatever. So to find the volume of a 3D figure, we measure in three directions. We measure for each of the dimensions. See, 3D, remember three dimensions? We're length, width, and height. So we're going to measure for each one of these dimensions. For a rectangular prism, we can determine its volume with cubic units. So if it was cubic inches, the length, width, and height is one inch. If it's cubic centimeters, then the length, width, and height is one centimeter. If it's cubic feet, then they're each one foot, a foot tall, a foot wide, a foot long. There's also cubic yards, too, that would be a yard long, a yard wide, a yard tall, okay? Now, if we compare cubes, like a two-inch cube versus a four-inch cube, even though two is half of four, the volume of a two-inch cube is not half the volume of a four-inch cube. If you had a six-inch cube, it would not be half the volume of a 12-inch cube. The two-inch cube here is actually an eighth of the volume of this four-inch cube. Take a good look at this. Here's the two-inch cube. Two plus two is four, so that means it would be four inches across, right, compared to two inches? But what happens when there's four? Look at Now we have four in the front and four in the back. We have eight. Because we measure the length, the width, and the height, we multiply the length, the width, and the height. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So we have to multiply each one of those dimensions, length, width, and height, to find the volume. And that's why it's not double, okay? To measure a pile of cubes, we count how many cubes are in its length, its width, and its height, and we multiply them. If we had this big, huge block of cubes, this big prism, and we needed to find the total volume for it, we would measure its length, its width, and its height. The length is 7, the width is 3, and the height is 4, and we multiply that. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 times 4 is 84. There's 84 cubes here. So to find the volume for a 3D shape, you multiply the length times the width times the height. Okay? You can find it. And then if there's like an odd one, if you're doing, if you're counting a shape and it's like this, and it's all nice and neat and flat, but it's got one weird one, you know, sticking up on top. If it's got like one weird, then you could do this amount and then add the extra one later. See? Don't count that in your multiplication. So instead of saying it was five high, you say it's four high because that's where the flat part is, the surf, you know, the regular flat surface part is that you can multiply them all together. Don't count that to multiply it. Keep it separate, and then you can add it after you multiply, okay? That's if there's like an odd one sticking out somewhere, all right? I'll see you next video. I hope this really explained how to find the volume with cubic units. Bye.